Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not launching on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart Steam. Just restart Steam and then relaunch Steam and then check. If that does not work, restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to rename this uh, rename the game folder in this location. Now, first of all, create a backup because you may lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So create a backup first. So open file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive. Now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data folder. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder, open local low folder. Over here you can see Sci games folder. Open this folder and over here you can see this game folder. So you can create a backup first. So copy this folder, paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup created, now you can make a right click and then you can rename this folder. Once you rename it, the game will start from scratch. Now, also let me inform you, the game may not work if you have had the JP version, also known as DMM, installed on your computer. So you have to uninstall DMM. Also go to the launcher menu at the bottom right corner and repair game data. Now for this, you can launch the game first. Now on this screen, click on these three horizontal lines and then over here you can see repair data. So click on repair data and then read this. If you agree, then click on OK. And once this is done, now you can, you can relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game from the game install installation folder. So instead of launching the game from here, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. This will take you to the game installation folder. Make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. Still not working. Make a right click, then go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK. Make a double click, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Go to properties once again, go to this tab, put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, you can even select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, in that case you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now, the next step is to now, if you're using any kind of third party antivirus program, like if you have Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, allow the game exe file or the complete game folder to your antivirus program. If you're using Windows security, in that case, you can open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, and then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection now click on allow and allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app click on browser apps now go to the game installation folder so in my case the game is installed in this location and then open the game folder so this is the location go to this location and then select the game exe file and then click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel go to system and security Windows Defender Firewall, click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall, click on change settings, click on allow another app, click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on open and then click on add. In my case, the ga game is already added. So once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Now you can also go to virus and threat protection and then uh, let's click on manage settings and over here you can see exclusion add or remove exclusion so you can just click on yes to allow click on add and ex exclusion and then folder and then you can go to the game installation folder open the game folder Select the complete game folder and then click on select folder. So add an exclusion over here. Similarly, if you have any third party antivirus, you have to add the complete game folder to the exclusion list. Now, if you're using ESET security, in that case, you can add the game folder 
to HIPS exclusion rule. Now you will find this option in this location. Go to exclusion and add the complete game folder and then you can launch the game. Now if you're using Cloudflare WARP, you can turn it off. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Next step is to turn on or turn off VPN. So for many user, using VPN has worked. So if you uh, if you can, you can use VPN and you can change uh, like uh, you can use the VPN and then check. You can change the country and then check. And if you are already using VPN, still you are facing the problem. In that case, you can turn off the VPN. Also try different network. So if you if you have any other network available, uh, you can switch to different network. And then you can check. Now, if you have any, like you can also use mobile hotspot. So turn on the data on your phone. And then once you turn on the data, turn on the hotspot on your phone. And then over here, you can connect to your phone network. So you will see your phone network over here. You can connect to your phone network and then you can launch the game. You can also switch to Ethernet connection. So if your computer has an Ethernet port and if you have an Ethernet cable, uh, you can connect using the wired connection and then check. Next step is to run this command. These commands are provided in the video description. So type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now copy these commands one by one. So copy this and then paste it over here. Hit the enter key. Now run the second command. Paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now run the third command. Paste it, hit the, hit the enter key. So run all these commands one by one. Once this is done, now restart your computer. Restart your computer and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to verify the game files. To verify the game files, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game, and then you can check. Now, the next step is to try this in launch option. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, and then go to general tab. Over here, you can type in dash DX11 and then you can close this, launch the game and then check. Still not working. You can even try dash DX12, launch the game and then check. Still not working. You can remove this, empty it, follow the next step. Now, the next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, you will see Visual Studio files. You have to download this x86 x86 and x64 so click on this file and then run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well and then you can run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete once installed once both are installed restarting the and after the system restart, you can launch the game. Next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics drivers. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue. And then select custom option over here. By default, Express would be selected. Select Custom and then click on Next. And then you will see the screen. Now put a check on the box which says Perform a Clean Installation. Make sure you put a check on Perform a Clean Installation and then click on Next. 
and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder, open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added over here, you will see the game. Now click on the game over here, GPU preference set it to high performance and then you can launch the game and then check still not working. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. Now for this, you can open Windows settings, go to Windows update or update in security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart the computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have OTAS, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, then disconnect it. If you have any uh, extra controller connected, sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnect it. Dis disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a icon of the game, select properties, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game, and then launch the game. If you have any other overlay application running, like Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn, turn off the overlay. If you have NVIDIA app running, you can go to NVIDIA app and then turn off, go to NVIDIA app settings and turn off overlay. If you have any other overlay application running, close it. Also, if do not overclock. So if you have overclocked your computer, you can set it to default, close all the overclocking application like MSI Afterburner, Reva Tuner, any kind of overclocking application running, close it. Also, if you have any third party services or application running, close it. Also, if you have undervolted the computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size, it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16, 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM, total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 49152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can just make a right click on the game, select manage, click on uninstall. Now, after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer, 
and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.